Thank you to Squarespace for supporting this video. From websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform designed for any purpose to build your online presence. Hello everyone, it's May. I hope you guys are all doing safe and well during this time. Today I have another hairstyles compilation video. So during quarantine, I had a lot of time, so I was cleaning out underneath my bed and I found a stack of old dusty fashion magazines from some of them are like six years old. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys some hairstyles that I tried out from these Japanese hairstyle tutorials. These are all extremely easy and very fun and very cute to do. All of these took me five minutes or even less and anyone can do these. So I hope you guys are excited and let's get started. I am first starting out with my hair straightened and curled at the end. And if you don't have the time or energy to curl your entire head of hair, I would just recommend curling in the last like two to three inches of your hair just to give it a little bit of texture. It looks nicer than just having straight hair and it does make it easier to do do certain types of hairstyles. So first off, I am starting with my favorite hairstyle in this entire tutorial. I bumped it all the way to the front so you guys can see this first. So first, I'm splitting my hair directly down the center. You can use a rat tail comb, but since my nails are so long, I just use my nails to do it and it works perfectly fine. So I'm going to be doing a medium height pony. And what this means is that it's not a low ponytail, but neither is it a high one. So I'm just tying off pigtails on both sides of my hair and then splitting each pigtail into three sections. I'm just going to do a normal braid. And then I'm going to leave a about three inches of hair at the end. This is more like four inches, but I should have braided a little bit longer. And then I'm just going to secure that off with an elastic. And then taking the end, I'm going to wrap it over itself and create a little bun. And then taking the end of the hair, I'm going to loop it through the center to create a knot. And then just pull tight and rearrange the ends of your hair so it's flipping the right direction. And then all you want to do is cross bobby pins in an X all around the bun to keep it in place. And that's going to make this hairstyle super secure. I'm just going to repeat on the other side. I know it looks a little dinky, for some reason I couldn't get the hair to flip in the same way on my other bun, but at the same time, I don't really mind. I like how it looks kind of messy, and I've been obsessed with wearing these fluffy accessories pinned to my hair, inspired by Britney Spears in Baby One More Time. So I've just kind of been throwing these onto any hairstyle that I feel like is a little bit empty, and that is it for this hairstyle. I really love this one. For some reason, it kind of reminds me of like a sheep, maybe. <laughs> um, I think it's super cute, super unique. I don't think I've ever seen this hairstyle flip around so this was definitely a gem that was hidden in a pile of dust under my bed. Next I'm going to be recreating this hairstyle. This one is one of my favorites as well but it's way easier to do but I love how simple and adorable it looks. So you basically want to take half an inch sections of your hair and just do tight little braids and then with an elastic either colored or clear it's up to you. You want to secure it a couple inches from the end of your hair. I think the point of this hairstyle is that you have different colors of elastics of varying lengths. If you have shorter layers of hair in some places like I I do, you can just take another clear elastic that matches your hair color and just tie that over those layers that are sticking out and it should hide it. Then an inch away from my first braid, I'm going to grab another half inch of hair and quickly braid that. Then again, stopping from a few inches of the end of my hair, but at a different length from my first elastic, I'm going to tie this off. I'm just going to repeat this on the other side of my hair. You guys know the drill and that is it for this hairstyle. I'm pretty lazy doing my hair on a day-to-day -day basis, but I can really see myself doing this hair a lot because it takes so little time. I I think it is such a cute little detail to add. Next, I'm going to be recreating this hairstyle. And I think this hairstyle is really fun. Again, I'm going to part my hair straight down the middle and then I'm going to gather both sides of my hair to put up in a high ponytail. I'm going to secure off both sides with an elastic. I'm going to take some colored elastics and I'm just securing it about an inch to two inches down each elastic. And then just using my fingers, I'm going to sort of like fluff it and pull it until it looks like a little bubble. And then I'm going to repeat this all the way down until I reach the ends of my hair. In total, I used four elastics. I probably could have gone a fifth time if I made the bubbles a little bit smaller, but how many bubbles you do is up to you. Then I'm just going to repeat on the other side. And then like she had in the photo, I'm going to put on some pink puffs this time. Again, I'm just putting those in my hair and securing them with crossed bobby pins. And that is it for our third hairstyle. And you can accessorize any of these hairstyles however you like. Even if you don't want to use puffs, you can use ribbons, headbands, scarves. Anything you have around will make a hairstyle your own. Then I'm going to be doing my only hairstyle with the side part. So taking a rat tail comb, I'm going to pull over my hair to create a faux side part. And I'm going to hide my front bangs. 
Then taking the top section of hair, I'm going to section this off and I'm just going to start braiding down the side. I always forget if what I do is a French braid or a Dutch braid. I'm pretty sure this is a Dutch braid, but either works. Basically, a Dutch or a French braid is a braid where you just pull sides of hair and add it to the original braid. I'm going to braid down the side of my hair and then I'm going to stop right at the top of my ear and secure it off with an elastic. And then because I still have my little bangs peeking out, I'm going to secure this away with a bobby pin. And then to hide the black bobby pin, I'm going to be using these cute little pearled flowers to pin into place. And I'm just going to be decorating with one to hide the elastic and then another one to hide the bobby pin. And I really love this hairstyle. I think it's so romantic and so classy, but very cute at the same time because of the pearled flowers. I do think that this hairstyle does look better with long bangs, um, but it's definitely still doable with front bangs like myself if you just pin it away with a bobby pin. Then because our next few hairstyles are a little bit simpler, I'm going to wave my hair for a little bit of variation. And I've already shared a tutorial on how I do my daily waves hairstyle routine. So I'm just going to put this in the top right hand corner so you guys can check that out if you're interested in seeing how I do these waves. So I'm going to recreate this hairstyle. I'm going to start two inches away from the top of my head and I'm going to section off a part of this and I'm going to secure it with an elastic. Then I'm going to create a little opening in the center of the hair and I'm going to pull the entire ponytail up, over, and through the little hole that we've created. And this is going to create a really cute looped design. And then after that, you just want to smooth out the hair and then pull the elastic tighter. And then just using your fingers, you kind of just want to pull and puff up the hair to make it look a little nicer. Then again, another two inches down, I'm going to gather more hair, including the ponytail that we created. And then I'm going to secure this off with another elastic. Again, make a little hole in the center and then pull the hair over and through the hole that you've created. Then you want to repeat the process of tightening the elastic and fluffing up the little loop with your fingers until you're happy with how it looks. And you can wear this hairstyle down, but I'm going to pull my hair into a low ponytail. And then I'm just going to repeat on the other side, and then I'm going to pull all of my hair into another low pigtail. And lastly, because I felt like it was a little plain, I'm going to secure these green velvet ribbons to cover the elastics at the base of the ponytail. And that is it for this hairstyle. I think it looks really romantic with soft waved hair. It's definitely a little bit more special than just pulling your hair into some pigtails. Next, I'm going to recreate this hairstyle, and I'm just using my thumb as a guide to pull hair from the top of my ear to the tip of my head, and then I'm actually going to twirl the hair away from my face and by doing this you get a really cute effect on your hair you can sort of just push it upwards and it creates this little mound and you kind of just want to use your fingers to fluff and pull it into place until it looks even and then again with crossed bobby pins you just want to secure this into place and then I'm just going to repeat this on the other side and that is it for this hairstyle, extremely easy. I think this is another hairstyle that would be great for messy hair days. Then I'm going to be recreating this one for the next hairstyle. After sectioning away the front part of my bangs that frame my face, I'm going to be tying off two mid-height pigtails. And then I'm just going to be pulling hair a little bit out of the pony to give a bit more volume. And then as she has in the photo, I'm using my straightening iron to curl in these pieces that frame my face. And I felt like this hairstyle was a little bit plain, so as usual, I'm decorating with some accessories. I'm using these oversized pearl clips to secure on both sides to give a little bit more cuteness. And that is it for this hairstyle. And this is another quick way to dress up any sort of double pigtail hairstyle. Then for our last hairstyle, I'm going to be recreating this style. So after splitting my hair in half straight down the back, I'm going to create three sections on each side, and then I'm going to braid each of those sections. So in total, I'm going to have three braids on each side of my head. Now, I'm not going to lie, out of all the hairstyles, styles that I tried in this video, this one is my least favorite one. I don't know why, I think it just looks a little bit clunky, probably because I have an insane amount of hair. So I just kind of played around with it to see what I could make out of this hairstyle. So I'm going to grab each side of hair and using an elastic, I'm going to be doing some low ponies. And then gathering all of the braids at the bottom, I'm going to take off the elastics and then re-secure them with only one single elastic. And then I'm going to repeat on the other side. And then again to accessorize, I'm using those same oversized pearl clips and I'm going to to clip them on both sides of my head. And that is it for this last hairstyle. I do think that it makes a very interesting braided design. It looks extremely complicated and intricate, but it is just three simple braids all tied together. So that is it for this hairstyle compilation tutorial. I might do another one of these depending on how you guys like this video. Seriously, I have such a huge mountain of these magazines and they have such amazing hairstyles in them. So I might be making more of these in the future. 
So as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you again to Squarespace for supporting this channel. With tons of easy to use templates, you can really tailor a website entirely to your personal needs. It's designed for any purpose from e-commerce, personal services, and to my personal favorite, portfolios. Head on over to squarespace.com slash Mayan for a free trial and use my code Mayan for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Stay safe, stay indoors, wash your hands, and I will see you guys again next week.